What if we told you that a new era of technology is dawning, promising to redefine the limits of computing as we know it? Welcome to the world of exascale computing, where unprecedented power meets unimaginable possibilities. Surpassing the quintillion calculations per second mark, this groundbreaking paradigm is set to shatter barriers that once seemed insurmountable. By the end of this video, you will discover how exascale computing works and what it does. Let's start. What exactly is exascale computing? Exascale computing is the next-gen supercomputing, and it's super fast, doing at least one exaflop floating point calculation per second. It's used for all sorts of intense tasks, like modeling, simulations, AI, and analytics. With exascale computers, scientists can simulate the tiny interactions between atoms and learn more about the universe and everything in it. Imagine a gigantic computer system that's kept in big warehouses or research buildings. These computers are usually owned by governments or big companies because they cost a fortune to build. Scientists and researchers often need grants to use them. They're super reliable because they can use different types of processing units all working together in one big system. It's like a mega team of CPUs and GPUs coming together to tackle the toughest tasks. A seismic shift is underway, ushering in a new era that promises to revolutionize the very fabric of computing. As supercomputers get even more powerful with exascale computing, there's a big demand to make them even better and keep leading the way in science and technology. These supercomputers are now supercharged with artificial intelligence, machine learning, and simulations, making them stronger. Exascale marks the next big step in supercomputer development, processing information much faster than the current most powerful supercomputers. Scientists can use this new tool to tackle major global challenges like climate change, cancer research, and designing innovative materials. What Exascale Computers Can Do The world faces some tough challenges, and scientists need powerful computers to tackle complex research questions. This is where Exascale Computers come into play. With these mighty machines, scientists can create more realistic models of the Earth and climate. They'll also unlock the secrets of nanoscience to understand new materials better. Exascale computers will even play a role in building future fusion power plants and studying the universe, from tiny particles into how stars are born. They'll support tasks like maintaining a nuclear deterrent. Exascale computing has the potential to solve problems that seemed impossible before. With its super memory, storage, and processing power, it might lead to big breakthroughs in energy production, materials science, AI, cancer research, and more. How Exascale Computers Are Being Used Today Exascale computers are used to analyze large amounts of data. It is like a super fast way to crunch huge amounts of data and simulate complicated stuff about how the universe works. Its power can have a huge impact on different industries like precision medicine, climate science, and nuclear physics. It's a game changer for cancer research. Scientists can use it to study patient genetics and tumor stuff, and even do virtual experiments on a super tiny scale. With exascale computing, we can create super smart models that predict how drugs will react in our bodies. Scientists and engineers can use exascale supercomputing to analyze data and push the boundaries of what we know. They can also help analyze gigantic amounts of data and complicated genomes related to the environment. This super capability can also be used for prediction by many industries to figure out and shape the future. It can accurately predict natural disasters like earthquakes and help come up with smart solutions beforehand. For instance, at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, scientists work on better weather predictions by looking at how all the rain, wind, clouds, and other stuff in the atmosphere interact with each other, even down to the tiniest atomic level. They use simple math equations to calculate every interaction between all the forces in that environment at a specific moment, all the way down to the millisecond. These simple interactions quickly form trillions of combinations, calculated and analyzed by trillions of compiled math equations. 
only an exascale computer can calculate at this rate. The calculations form an image or a simulation of what every interaction looks like, which can be studied to advance our understanding of the universe. Exascale supercomputers quite literally build our knowledge, helping us meet the challenges of tomorrow. It can also be used to create strong and clean energy systems. It's not just about creating low emission technologies, but also analyzing tough crops that can handle stress. By ensuring we have sustainable food and energy resources, we're taking a big step in securing our nation. Scientists can use it to design new materials that can handle crazy extreme conditions or adjust to changes in water cycles, building things that can stand up to whatever the environment throws at them. And that's not all. Another cool thing is how exascale computing can speed up the development of additive manufacturing. It's a supercharged tool for making models and simulations of manufacturing parts. This means we can create things faster and with greater precision, which is awesome. With exascale computing on our side, the possibilities are endless. Supercomputing is beneficial in the security sector. Exascale computing is our shield against new physical and cyber threats that could harm our nation, energy, and economy. When it comes to national security, exascale computing is a game changer. It can intelligently respond to threats and analyze hostile environments super fast. It's like countering countless risks and keeping the nation safe at lightning speed. With exascale computing, we can become better at producing food, planning cities sustainably, and recovering from natural disasters. It can boost growth and efficiency in various aspects of our lives. Let's look at the limitations of exascale computing. Exascale computing has a limitation when it comes to heat generation. Because they do such intense processing, they produce a ton of heat. To keep them working at their best, they need special cooling systems, like fans or liquid cooling, in the computer systems and racks. Some of them are even set up in places with super cold climates. Exascale computing versus quantum computing. Exascale computing and quantum computing are two different beasts in the world of computing. Exascale computing is a supercharged supercomputer. It can perform billions of calculations every second using CPUs and GPUs, which are the most powerful parts of the computer. It's all done using regular digital systems, the stuff we're used to in computers. On the other hand, a quantum computing is different and mind-boggling. It doesn't follow the usual computing methods we know. Instead, it uses binary codes that can be active at the same time. This allows something called superpositioning and entanglement, which means it can analyze and solve problems in ways that regular computers can't. It's all based on the laws of quantum theory and physics. Another thing that makes exascale computing stand out is its powerful hardware. They have the highest capacity you can find, and they're different from other supercomputers or quantum computers because of this unique power they possess. In short, exascale computing is a turbocharged supercomputer, while quantum computing is like a whole new world of computing doing things we couldn't even imagine before. The Future of Exascale Computing The future of exascale computing is incredibly promising and full of possibilities. As technology continues to advance, we can expect even more powerful exascale supercomputers to be developed. These machines will push the boundaries of what we can achieve in various fields, from scientific research to industry applications. In 2022, the world's first exascale computer, Frontier, was launched at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. It's a whopping 2.5 times faster than the fastest computer in the world. China and Japan were also working on their exascale systems, aiming to complete them by 2020. In 2016, the U.S. government announced the Exascale Computing Project, hoping to have its first supercomputer operating at 1 exaflops per second or more by 2021. It's been a bit of a challenge, though, as it's taking longer than expected due to technical difficulties in both hardware and software. In the beginning, there might be only a few applications that can take advantage of the Exascale systems, maybe just a handful. It will take a lot of hard work from application developers and computer scientists to make them work smoothly. 
They might even design the hardware specifically for certain applications, rather than being fully general purpose. Exascale computing is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of supercomputing, and it's really exciting to see where it'll take us. If you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.